Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Matt Master here and I am actually using my webcam for a deck profile. So, this is my deck that I'm going to be bringing to the Philly uh Philly Regionals this uh Saturday, which would be April, I guess that'd be April 4th. Yeah, April 4th. So, this is what I've got for right now. I'm probably definitely going to be doing a lot of changes to at least a side deck. Um because a few cards I need to find first and hopefully trade for, but you know, let's see how things work. But uh, <clears throat> me deck, extra deck, side deck, and trust me, when you first see the first monster, you'll obviously understand why the sleeves are green and the reason and what deck I am playing. So, uh, monsters, I am playing Yo Senju. Oh, I need to zoom in like the man. Uh, I am playing Yo Senju, so of course three comma one. Sorry, the camera's a bit like off; it won't zoom in correctly and all that stuff. But you know, three comma one. Uh, you know, they all do what they do. You can normal summon, especially summon normal summon another one from your hand. End of the turn, they go back to hand. So what comma one does, if no one knows what comma one does, uh, you have another Yo Senju monster on your side of the field with I believe it's a different name. Yeah, different name. Uh, you can return one you sent one face up card on the field i believe it's just on the field or is it your opponents uh no, yeah one card your opponent controls so one card one face up card your opponent controls and return to the hand yeah one face up card just double checking <laughs> forget i forget some of the stuff sometimes but yeah so really good uh 3 Three comma twos, you know, standard. Same thing with the other one, except this one attacks your opponent directly, but it's uh, any damage your opponent takes is half, which is you know standard for direct attacking. And three comma threes, you kind of combo this off with comma two, and even combo with comma one, because when another Yosenju monster besides comma three attacks, you can search for one Yosenju card, except for comma three from your deck, and yes, but it has to deal damage. So if tax no damage, don't get the effect, but it, you know deal damage and all that stuff. Uh, three Sujik. Some people only run this at like two. I would not run it at one. Two's okay, but I like it three because because more level fours and more more power up. It's an honest of the deck. Like if one if one of your you send you attack or his attack while it's in the hand, you can drop it into the grave and you know increase your increase your monster attack by one thousand. Or if it's on the field. You can target one Yosenju monster on the field, uh, and uh, increase his attack by 1,000. So I can drop, like, S Sujik, have, like, comma three on the field, power up one, and boom. That's all I need. Ex even if that's just on the field, power up, and boom, makes it 2,000. Really good to get it through anything. Uh, I played 2L. L is really good because when it's on the field, it's it's 21 beater. I mean, 21 defense, so big booty. Uh, when it's normal summoned, it's just when, yeah, normal summon, it's changed the defense position, so instantly goes to defense. Uh, another level 4, and which is really good when it's on the field. No other Yosenju cards can be targeted. No other Yosenju monsters can be targeted uh, by a card effect, except this one. So it defends all of it but this. So Dark Hall only destroys this. Turns to True Boot only destroys this and all that stuff. Wait, wait, no, ne never mind. Scratch that. Those, are, those are on target. So anything targeting, like Fiendish Chain and all that stuff. Boom. Uh, really good. Mo I usually keep it in Pendulum Zone, as most people do. Uh, just place it over there. When any of your Senju monsters be destroyed through Dark Hole and turn to True Boot, got those two mixed up. Uh, destroy this card instead, and your monsters stay. Your opponent's monsters don't. All that stuff. Love this card. Also run 2R because uh, I run the Pendulum build. And another thing, it's another name, so it's another search. Uh, another level 4 win, so that's always good. Another big booty with 21 defense. Uh, the only difference is no other Yosenju monster can be targeted for attacks but this one. So, same thing with the other one, just attacks. And of course, since I'm running Pendulum, I run 2 Dieback. Dieback is really good if you're not running the Pendulum build because it can boost your monsters. Like, if it's a Pendulum Zone, it's Pendulum effect is when uh, when your Yosenju monsters attack. It can attack, increase the attack by 300, so that's really good. But if it's in, it, but when it's normal or special summon, first of all, when it's uh, pendulum summon, 
It's special summon. Uh, cannot be, you know, it cannot be special summon except by pendulum summon. So when you pendulum summon it, it cannot be stopped. Its summoning cannot be stopped that way. So you know, really good. And when it is normal or special summoned, you can target two cards on the field and return them to hand. So your opponent has two back row, return the hand, and it's just amazing to clear the field. <laughs> I've won with this card so many times. Even with just the power up, but uh, you know, just like all other Yosenjis except for uh, L and R, they returns to hand and when it, at the turn it's normal or special summoned. So got a little bit of that, but you know, it goes to the extra deck when it's destroyed. So, but for three thousand attack, it's worth it. Uh, that's all for the monster count. Uh, here's some spells. My spells. It's actually a pretty good amount. <laughs> uh, three training ground. People don't really like it, but I love it because no. I play this and people MST it. It's like I could use it or not. I usually side this out, all of them out in like game two. So for other cards, and then I side, it's just it's that card that you don't want and you want at the same time. Because first of all, if it was your Senju, it'd be fine. It's your Senjin, so you can't search for it. it. Allows you to search any Yosenju monster by removing three counters on it. It gets one counter every time a Yosenju monster is summoned. It could be normal, special. Yeah. It could be your opponent. It just says when a Yosenju monster is summoned. But So by removing one counter, gain all your Yosenju monsters gain 300 attack. By removing three counters, uh, you can search for one Yosenju card in your deck and add it to your hand. You can only use uh, one of the effects one. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. So, you know, pretty standard. Uh, three tanky, don't really have to go into this. Three duality, you hardly special summon. Even with the pendulum build, you still hardly special summon. Two MST because back row isn't too big, but I'd still like some destruction. Two dark hole because you never, or you usually never will have a monster on the field except if you special summon from your extra deck or if you get fiendish chained, or if you pendulum summon because uh, the other commas, common ones through three in Sujik, they only return the hand if they are normal summoned. If they are special summoned, they don't go back to hand. Good thing about another thing about uh, comma one, its effect only works once while face up. So if you special summon that, I would not special summon that because you can only use its effect once while it's face up, not once per turn. All right, back to spells. Uh, one defy because you know everything should get banished, and one mass change second. And I will show you why. Because even though Stratos is gone, we can still use the wind. And last but not least, the traps. I run three Yo Senju secret move because this is the one of the best cards ever made for this deck ever. Uh, it's literally Infernity Barriers. So, if people don't know, if you have a face up Yo Senju card and all your monsters, if any, are Yo Senju monsters, you can use this card to negate uh, card targeted card effect, negate it, and destroy it. So that's always good. You know, it stops Trish and everything. Everybody's trying to stop Trish. Uh, two Faintest Chain, the one in Italian. Uh, once Lose a Turn comes in, I switch both these out. I put these in for Vanity's Emptiness because now we don't have Vanity's. Uh, a little sad about that, but not because I got to revamp the deck, but, you know. So, Lose a Turn, I'll be switching these out. Uh, two Mirror Force, because, you know, people like to spam. It's really for the Mirror Match, but everything. I... I I hate when my opponent has cards. I want to just get rid of them. Uh, for the one ofs, one bottomless, of course. One macrocosmos, of course. One torrential, you know, and one vanities. So that's all for the main deck. Time to get into the side deck. Uh, love these sleeves, by the way. Oh my god, they're amazing. Uh, so for the side deck, uh, we got. I'd love to place them down, but I can't right now because the zoom doesn't really work and the focusing isn't working right now. Okay, so one number eighty. One one oh one. One one oh three. One Abyss Dweller. One Tiger King. One Castell. One Dark Rebellion. Again, all rank, level rank fours, all because it's a level four spam deck kind of. I don't I one arms I believe I don't have to go to any of these so far. One Diamond Dire. Two Cowboy, because you know, one cowboy is usually not enough sometimes nowadays. Uh one Lightning Jory, only one because I only have one, and I hardly actually ever go into this. Uh, 
Yeah, but it's always good to have. Uh, one my A stroke. I would trade this out for Exiton Knight, but I don't have Exiton Knight. Sorry, it's a little bit not focused in that well. I don't know why. Wait, what it's doing? Uh, now to go into some talking. One Deltaros, because Deltaros is a generic uh, rank four, so always good. Stops normal summon, special summon. If I can use this, because I will overlay into from this into the one diamond, because I can in this deck and thing. And Shadals are a really big thing now, and it stops from adding from deck in hand, so it really cuts down a lot of the decks out there. So that's all for the Xyz, and for the one mass change second, I have one Divine Wind. Divine Wind is amazing. The standard can't be special summon except for uh, fusion summon with mass change or mass change second, you know, all that stuff. Uh, when it can't be destroyed by battle, and it's 27 beater, so it can take down Trish, and your opponent still loses the Trish, and you don't. And... Hold on one second. Uh, screen kind of went dark. I'm not sure if I'm still recording. Yes, I'm still recording. Okay, just wanted to check. Alright, so, uh, second effect, your opponent can only attack with one monster per turn. Really good effect. And the last one, if it destroys a monster in battle, either, you know, your opponent attacked it and, you know, doesn't know the other effect, or you attacked it, uh, you get to draw one card, so that's always good. Plus, it's for days. <clears throat> so, uh, now we're going to go into the extra deck. Uh, for the monsters, I run one puppet plant. I used to run Electrovirus, and I realized that it doesn't work with Quills, and there's no really big dragon deck right now. So, pop a plant for all your spellcaster and warrior needs. Really hurts Shadals because, oh, no, not a little bit with Shadals. Burning Abyss with the, you know, Dante's and the Downer Magicians and the Virgils and all that stuff. Just want to take them away for a turn. But also, the Cloths. They use dragons, spellcasters, and warriors. Just saying that right now. <clears throat> all for the monsters. Uh, spells, third MST, just because, you know. Back for days. One Necro Valley to stop, you know, plays. Uh, two Soul Release to banish. And one Temple of the Kings. I love this since I side a whole lot of traps. And there's still there's still a lot of traps in the main deck. I like this. Don't use Circuit. Just like this to get that one of. If I can use one trap card a turn before, I'm I'm golden. All the spells. I want to add the Mira. The, at least two of those mirrors, but I don't have them right now on me. I'm still playtesting with it. I've got a couple days. Uh, for traps, one black horn of heaven, just, you know, give her a special summon. One imperial custom, just because there's a lot of continuous trap cards. One imperial iron wall, just stop against any, you know, spirit beast, ritual beast, however you want to call them, or anything else that banishes. One lightning prisoning mirror, because I hate to tell her knights unless I'm running them. One mind crush, because the deck for this build. Only use one mind crush because I needed more room in the extra deck. Two of geometry because I love the troll for days. One ring of destruction because it's badass. I don't think it needed the life point thing. Like, I'm fine waiting for my opponent's turn. I know I'm fine taking the damage first. But if I'm taking the damage first, who cares if the attack is more than my opponent's, you know, life points? Who cares? I'm taking the damage first. So it should be no more than my life points. And one Shadowing Prisoning Mirror, because Shadow, well, you know, Dark Monsters are really big now. So, that's really it. Hope you guys liked it. You know, like, subscribe, uh, check out my eBay and all that stuff. I did, po I'm going to post up a trailer soon, but, you know, that's just how stuff is. Uh, no, if you're at the regional in Philly, you know, hit me up and all that stuff. I'll, I want to get some deck profiles from people. So, like, subscribe. All that stuff. Comment. Hug your mama. Hug your grandmother. And all that stuff. So peace out people. And keep dueling. Bye.